It's harvest time for barley in the high Andes of Peru. Some farmers still harvest in the traditional way. Music from a pinculo flute and tinya drum entertains the workers and encourages them to compete against each other. The villagers here are expecting a good crop with enough to feed their families and a surplus to sell. This wasn't always the case. Few plants survive at altitudes of around 4,000 meters. Barley was growing for centuries in Peru. It was brought by the Spanish people, but the varieties that the farmer grow, it was for animal food. So we decided to improve that. We decided to have a, a barley that could be used for human food. It all started here through a project sponsored by the IAEA and the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. A technique that uses radiation on seeds to induce changes in plants was applied. The gamma rays speed up the process of spontaneous change that occurs in nature but can take millions of years. The irradiated barley seeds were planted at La Molina University in Lima. Breeders led by Professor Gomez Pando selected the best plants and replanted their seeds. This selection process continued for seven years until, eventually, in 2006, Centenario was born. This barley is proving to be Peru's best variety to date. It provides more grain than other barleys. It's tasty and rich in protein. Centenario is also disease resistant and tolerant to the extreme weather conditions in the Andes. Most importantly, it's improving the income and diet of the people in this remote region. Compared to all other types of barley, it's the best, because it has more grains and they are heavier. It's also a very good source of food for our children and it's good for their development. Professor Gomez Pando works closely with the farmers in the highlands. She provides advice on how to cultivate and cook local grains and also distributes centenario seeds. Centenario barley fetches a much better price at market than other varieties. This local trader buys it here, processes it into flour or pearled barley and sells it around the country. At an altitude of 3,700 meters, people in the village of Aramachai also enjoy the benefits that Centenario brings. Juan Paitan is one of many farmers here who grow this barley. He uses it to feed his family and sells seeds to neighbors and grain to local mills. What I need now is to find a broader market, for example in the capital Lima, to be able to satisfy the large demand for barley, especially if you consider the high yield of the centenario variety. In Lima, the El Gran Molino bakery chain is one promising outlet for Andean farmers. The owner is working closely with La Molina University to increase the use of national grains in his products. 20,000 pieces of bread are sold here every day, and this is just one of 18 outlets. The baker is replacing wheat with other sources of flour, such as barley. He's using flour made from Centenario and provided by small mills in the highlands. These products come from the poorest farmers, so it's a matter of creating a market for their products where they can sell them and benefit from the sale of these cereals. Professor Gomez Pando is now trying to develop further improved varieties of the native grains. 
In the mountains, she maintains an experimental plot where barley cultivated from irradiated seeds is growing. From the hundreds of plants, one or two new varieties could emerge, which would bring better nutrition, more food and extra income to the people in this remote but beautiful part of the world.